Hello everyone, welcome back to Wilderness Off-Road channel. It's been a little minute here. Um, sorry about the little delay, but I've been busy and you know, that's all right. So today I'm gonna go over my uh, awning on the vehicle uh, and how I have it attached to the basket. I have a Yakima Load Warrior with the extension and I'm gonna show you how I uh, decided to mount the awning straight to the basket. I didn't mount it to the um, vehicle itself like some people do. I wanted to keep the awning attached to the basket so that I could take those two things off together. I have also put a case up there and I'll show you just a little bit how I did that. And uh, now the awning and basket have been attached to the vehicle for a little bit. I did catch a little bit of footage of uh, me uh, attaching the awning to the basket and how the hardware works and I'll throw that in the video as well and then I'll show you the aftermath and how everything looks. So let's just hop right into it and go from there. All right, so this is the awning. It's the Rome Adventure Co five foot slate awning. And this is how it arrives. Uh, as you can see, I already opened it. <laughs> and the uh, awning is nicely wrapped up. And the only other things that come with it are the uh, mounting hardware and a couple of stakes right in this bag, but we will not be using this hardware or the mounting solution that they give you. Um, since I'm mounting this on a Yakima basket, I have some basket awning brackets made by ADF, which is Anderson Design and Fabrication. Um, but, I just wanted to show you the stakes that these, that the awning comes with. They're very heavy duty stakes. And I think if you really need them, which I mean, you should stake down your awning when you're at camp, just in case any gusts of wind come up. But the, uh, these stakes seem very sturdy. They're, I mean, some pretty thick stakes and uh, I think they'll do well. So I'll probably stick these inside that little baggie and uh, you could probably zip them up within the uh, awning as well. Um, so right here, so right here are the basket awning brackets from ADF. These are aluminum and they do come just plain aluminum. I did paint them black, not the best paint job, but it'll do, it'll blend in better. And uh, so this simply goes on the back of your basket and then you get all new hardware. Um, so eight bolts total. And when ordering this, you wanna make sure you get the right size millimeter bolt for your track. And so for Rome, it should be 13 mil. And uh, so these sandwich behind your awning and the basket kind of clamps right in there and it should be very sturdy. So we're gonna get this put up on the basket and I'll also show you just a very quick um, solution to my um how i mount my case also on my basket and we'll go from there so these adf awning mounts are actually very affordable um i did you know purchase them straight out and to my surprise they are aluminum like i mentioned before originally they were steel and i contacted him and he's like yeah we switched to aluminum and you don't have to paint them also like i mentioned before but i wanted it to kind of blend into the black uh, basket 
So I quickly painted them and very simple to use. This is a Yakima Load Warrior with the extension and the extension doesn't really matter um, at all. It will um, pretty much uh, take up the same length as my awning actually, since the awning is only about five feet. Uh, but so this is the typical Yakima spacing and online he does give you a few measurements uh, between the holes and this center part. Uh, so I was unsure kind of if it will fit since the center part is just, I mean, it's just barely wide enough, but the holes go extend quite a bit longer to easily fit. So these should fit pretty much any basket. I don't know why they wouldn't fit any other, but uh, they're very nice and lightweight and they should work perfectly fine for mounting an awning to a basket. All right, so mounting your hardware within the rail is really easy. All you do is slip off this end cap on the awning. Okay, put, put that to the side. Some aluminum shavings there. <laughs> um, so all you do is, these are the new bolts that you get when you order the ADF brackets. So you simply slip them in and run them down. So we'll have four on the bottom and four on the top. Once that's complete, you can put this end cap back on. <clears throat> All right. All right, so you're gonna wanna kind of figure out where you're gonna want your brackets. And like I mentioned before, I'm gonna put one right about down here and one toward the front. So slide your bolts to the location. Very rough, and then you know, should just slip on when you're ready. I'm just kind of pre testing it here. Perfect. So that's about how I'm going to space them out. Um, right about there. Right about there. That should work perfect. So I am on my own right now. So this is why my basket is on some saw horses. I thought it'd be a lot easier to um, get this set up uh, on the ground then up on top of my vehicle uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this bolted up um, you have of course all eight nuts as well they'll just go right on there and uh, I'll be back once this is all up on the basket now you could loosely fit this to the basket and not crank it down so that you can slide the awning back and forth. Since the awning is basically the same exact length as the basket, I'm just going to line it up the best I can to be about even on each side.
Also, one very important thing to keep in mind is these rails are aluminum and when tightening down these bolts, uh, you don't want to over, over crank them because you will strip out the track if you go all Hulk mode and it will be a pain to get these bolts out and replace and your track will be um, kind of toast. Uh, you, you're not gonna <laughs> probably absolutely destroy this, uh, but it will be some work to get that out or move it if you need to. Uh, the awning is on the driver's side, so the Rome logo is up front. Uh, a lot of people put it on the passenger side, so the Rome logo is in the back. But I do have my case here, which I'm going to show you. And I like that on the passenger side. Uh, and, you know, since this is on the driver's side now, I will be able to keep an eye on this awning to make sure all is good. So easy, super easy. We're just gonna have to lift this up onto the vehicle now. Uh, I'm gonna show you the case though first and yeah. So this is the case that I went with. This is a uh, Harbor Freight Apache case. Uh, it's an upgrade I think from the Plano case I had. I mean my Plano case did break and I believe this just feels a lot more tough and rigid. So I'm just gonna quickly go over um, everything here. You simply mount it like everyone else does and you use U-bolts that you drill through the case and they come up and around one of the crossbars on the basket. Super easy uh, and quick to do. Now, one little trick I figured out after drilling um, one of these rear holes, it's, you know, a little, it worked, it's just a little uh, out of alignment there, uh, but I figured, I'll tell you the little trick I figured out is just simply, first one's really easy, you just line it up with your cross member there, and I laid a larger screwdriver down and that'll show you where this bar is below. Now when drilling holes into your case, you have these interior lines and there are exterior lines as well, which do not match <laughs> the interior ones. So make sure when drilling your holes that those are not in the way so that your plates for your U-bolts um, can sit flat against the plastic. So the reason why I have the case on this side of the basket is that, so this side has the locking Yakima brackets on front and rear. And because uh, these are on this side, the case is able to sit more flat on the other side. Um, the case doesn't really work with these locks here. So the idea is to have both locks on this side. Case is bolted down on that side on top of the bar, uh, on top of this clamp uh, without the lock, and the case is locked. So um, it should be perfectly fine um, from theft, but of course, you know, if someone wants something, they'll take it, right? So here's the awning set up on the Outback. It is a five foot wide awning and I think eight feet long. So pretty good coverage for any of the elements. Now I did go with the five foot wide because I did not want it to overhang the windshield too far. And this is as far back as you can go. Well, you can maybe go just a little bit further, um, but basket ends right there and the hatch comes really close right about there. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I went with the slate color 
and it turned out pretty well. Kind of matches the silver Subaru and it was a very quick, easy setup even for the first time. And I obviously have not Velcroed every one of them. It's kind of unneeded right now. Um, it is a little windy. I moved locations, but this uh, works fine. And you can obviously adjust the height of these, slant it down when it's raining so that the rain can slope off. But there it is. And then there is the storage case I have up there, which is from Harbor Freight. I think I don't don't think I mentioned it yet, but it comes with some nice tie downs um, to really strap down the awning when it's storming and when it's windy, like it is now maybe. <laughs> I probably would, but this is only a quick video. So the stakes that it comes with are pretty beefy and they should work perfectly for securing this to the ground. But overall, I really think this turned out great and I'm excited to use it on all the camping trips with this vehicle and the Harbor Freight storage will work perfectly. Um, and the extra space in the basket will work great for wood, trash, and also like the Plano box that I showed in an early video um, will still fit up there just fine. So for a second, I thought I did <laughs> somehow install this upside down because I would think this would be on the other side, but I did not. These tracks are right <laughs> uh, facing down. So I'm pretty sure that it's correct. And plus all these Velcros are on the, all in the right direction. So that is how it is, unless they printed it on the wrong side, but <laughs> looks good and I am happy with that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully it turns out. Um, I filmed um, footage in multiple locations and at two different time periods. So hopefully I have the footage that I need and hopefully the video turns out all right. If it doesn't and you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, and I'll do my best to answer. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like and comment and uh, subscribe. That would be really appreciated. Sorry for such a delay and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.